Guys, it's Chris here from The Low Carb Life, and today we are doing a recipe on spicy chicken curry from Sri Lanka. So I've just gotten back from Sri Lanka, and it was amazing. So we're going to start off with a bit of salt um, on the meat, and then we're going to start adding a few different spices that we've got. Uh, so we've got some turmeric powder, and when we were over there, the lady who was showing us all how to do it was awesome. Um, she was fantastic, really nice old lady um, with a lot of experience. So make sure you give it a good mix. Get, cover every uh, sort of bit of it as much as you can because um, you want those spices to really penetrate the meat. So then in the pan, we've got cumin seeds, coriander seeds, a bit of curry leaf, um, cardamom, fennel, cinnamon, black pepper, and dried red chilies as well. We're gonna give them um, a bit of heat to get the sort of volatile oils you know, out and really starting to get those flavors together. So aiming for around about a medium heat. You don't want them to burn because um, then you'll get, get those uh, sort of funny bitter flavors, which are not good. We did have a couple of curries that were burnt um, in our travels over there, but for the most part, um, yeah, these, these curries are done extremely well. Um, so yeah, you know, you can either, what we actually use was a mortar and pestle uh, one day, but you can also put them in the grinder um, like we've got here and get, get that into a nice sort of fine powder. You don't want big chunks of spice um, when you're trying to eat your curry because it's not the, the nicest thing in the world. So next we're going to heat up some cooking oil so you can use coconut oil um for this one put in some of the mustard seeds that we've got got here get them sizzling they'll start popping and stuff and that is going to be awesome but make sure it's really hot because we want to caramelize the the um onion as well when we're going through that getting the flavor out of those mustard seeds it's they really are incredible delicious stuff so next we've got the classic uh you know ingredients for a curry garlic and ginger paste going in there absolutely delicious the smell at this point was ridiculous right so you know onions garlic and ginger you can't really go too wrong there but it really gives that base and depth of flavor that you just that's really what you're looking for in a curry those complex flavors so now putting in the chicken from earlier with the salt and turmeric and give them a good stir right and then we're gonna sort of give this a bit of a you know a steamed sort of simmer um, initially, that's going to really tenderize that meat, but you want to get make sure you're getting all the garlic and the ginger all over the chicken as much as you can. All right, so we want that flavor to get, um, you know, get that get right in deep into the meat because that was that was one of the most impressive things how much flavor they can get into the meat. All right, so once you put that on high heat for a while, we're going to take the lid off, give it another stir, um, just make sure it's not catching anywhere on the bottom. You don't want any sort of burnt bits developing, so make sure either non-stick pan or add a touch more oil. Um, you know, low carb keto, you guys you guys know what you're doing. You're uh, generally generally a bit bit um, higher in the fat anyway. So once we've got it and it's, it's uh, pretty cooked, give another bit of a stir there. Um, and then we're just gonna, you know, it's starting to brown up a little bit here, which is delicious. Oh, it smells so good, so good. All right, so keep giving giving that a bit of a mix, and then we're gonna yeah until it's until it's when when you really start noticing those little crispy brown bits with that Maillard reaction, you're gonna really notice that is gonna be a critical factor in that epic um, yeah that really really nice flavor at the end. All right, so we've got the um, spice mix we just roasted before, and some of the thin coconut milk. So. Most of the coconut milk you'll get, um, you know, in, in the tins um, that we can generally buy, you might want to water that down a little bit because um, we were making the coconut milk from scratch. So, yeah, get, get maybe thin it out a little bit initially, all right, so it's not too rich because um, you want to watch the, the, you know, the amount of fat because that's your buffer, all right, um, yeah, for your energy expenditure throughout the day. All right, so keep, keep steaming it again. Get that flavor's getting right in there, and then we're going to give it a hell of another stir. Um, really is important to keep stirring that. You want to get, make sure that the chicken is absolutely covered with that spice mix. Looking good, the smell. Mm -mm. 
Right, so once, once, we, once we've got it up to that, that simmer, I'm going to put it on the low heat and let it cook for a little while longer. So all up, generally, this is taking, taking us about you know, 30 to 40 minutes of, of cooking. Um, you can see that sauce has started thickening up there. It's, it's getting a bit shinier on the, on the chicken there. She's starting to look pretty good. And having a taste at this point, quite nice. The seasoning is already in the chicken, so um, didn't really need much more salt in there, but it's fantastic. So that is the curry once it's reduced, and then we're going to go and we're going to have a look at making the cauliflower rice as well. Alrighty, so perfect thing for low carb, um, having the cauliflower rice because it is massively low carb. Um, so grab yourself a cauliflower, a nice, nice uh, big one if you can. We're going to split them down the middle, split them in half there. Um, <clears throat> and cauliflower is, it is very, very rich in a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals as well. And it just helps soak up that, you know, all that beautiful curry gravy um, that is just delicious. So once you've opened them up, we're going to cut the core out of it. Um, and then we're going to break them into little florets, right? So make sure you get get rid of that green stuff. Um, you know, the leaf, the leaves that are that are actually on the bottom of the cauliflower, because you don't really want those. Um, but yeah, nick out a bit of the core. You can keep, um, you know, you can use most of the core. It's just getting those um, those leaves off as much as you can, because they can be a little bit bitter sometimes. So break it into you know sizes. Yeah, that you can see here, they're not um, they're not massive because we're going to put it in a food processor in a bit to get the consistency of rice. Now, definitely want to make sure that you um, try and keep these all even sizes because when it goes in the food processor, um, the blades you know they have a bit of a tough time sometimes, and you'll end up with with um, you know sort of bigger chunks and then really fine sort of powdery or mushy. Um, cauliflower, and we don't want that. We want to try and keep them as consistent as possible. So once you've got them in there, we'll um, you know we'll pop the lid on and we'll give it a bit of a blend. And you're looking for that rice consistency. All right. So I found it was quite, quite the the easiest way to do it was tip it sort of on an angle and then pulse, pulse, pulse. So then whacking it in the microwave for around about anywhere from five to seven minutes, depending on how um, you like the consistency of your cauliflower. I like it slightly more chewy. Um, so, you know, I generally go for about the five minute mark. But once we've got that, we are going to pop the bit of coconut oil, or you can use a bit of ghee as well, um, in the pan. And then we're gonna pop the cauliflower in there um, to get that warmed up. All right, so it's, so it's actually, it is already, um, steamed essentially so what we're doing here is we're just going to get it a little bit more toasted a bit more sort of not crispy but I'm um, drying it out a little bit getting a driving off a bit of that steam so that is what we want that's what we're looking for here slightly browned not 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 massively brown but it is extremely tasty right and that's gonna be ready for our gravy there well that's it guys that's the curry and cauliflower rice if you enjoyed this recipe Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming recipes that we've got. We've got heaps of good low carb ones coming up. Guys, as a little bit of a bonus, um, I've just popped in a bit of footage from our time in Sri Lanka. Um, so we went to this first place for brekkie. They had about 15 or 16 curries um, made and ready to go. Um, and one of the favorites was the mango curry. Um, next to the chicken curry as well, that was incredible. Um, and then we went to another place for lunch, um, which is the next little clip. And these guys did an amazing job of getting the curry and the rice, and they had fried um, chicken and just that many different curries. It's quite amazing, uh, really, the the amount of work that goes into making these curries. Um, but they are absolutely beautiful and I think you'll really enjoy the uh, recipe we've got um, for you in this video that you've, that you've just seen. Um, make sure you give it a go, test it out and see how it goes because I've made it a few times um, and it was fantastic and I will, that, it's one for the uh, family recipe book, I'll be keeping it in there. But you guys enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe and I will 
See you on the next video. Thanks, guys.